So one of my main concerns is I'm on this uh, journey trying to um, you know do some recording and editing and improve the content of my YouTube channel. Yes, one of my main concerns is authenticity. You know, what are my motivations? What what is my intention? So I'm running around with this camera mounted in my car, talking. Who am I speaking to? Uh, who is my audience? Who who are you? <laughs> who are you? And and how can I help? Or I think I think it's this it, it, it is actually this it's this that I've been approaching for quite some time authenticity uh, manifesting a genuine nature what that what's that what is that like Here's what I see. I see suffering. And there are a vast, there is, there is a vast multitude of details around my suffering and around the suffering of all those others that are out there in this world, right? Most of that suffering falls under the category for me of uh, outside of my control, right? I can look at, at uh, members of, of government, uh, our governmental leaders, and I see, I see their suffering. I see people who are struggling to maintain control and to maintain power, and I see the, the, the suffering that that brings into their lives, and I see all of the symptoms of their suffering. I am not the one who suffers. <laughs> Neither are you, my friend. <laughs> I am the one who observes this man who struggles. <laughs> so, as we're developing online personalities, <laughs> what, what's that like? What's it like when, when really the idea is to disidentify with the personality? There's this, uh, there's this personality test. It's called the Enneagram. And there's nine different personality types, right? What I like about it is the purpose of it is to understand your personality type so that we can escape the box that we are trapped in so we can get outside the box of our personality right? so, so that we can actually lay down these uh, neurosis that come with these characters that we create we are story people, right? We are story creatures. We are we are the creatures who tell stories. It is how we learn. We can't disconnect from that. And we are also apparently committed to this subjective experience too. Um, there may be those who claim to have, uh, that their ego has died a death a, and it is final, it is done, and the, but I, I don't, that's not my experience. I can't really speak to that experience. My experience is this. A moment is passing away now, and a new one is being born. And presence will arise in this moment. This is where I experience the present. Right here. So there are all the thoughts. There are 
all these things happening. There are all, all these details of my suffering, the, these stories, the ins and outs, the ups and downs, the justifications. <laughs> the demands, the opinions, the judgments. But I'm not bound to that way of being. What I have read and my experience tells me that I am not bound. I am not bound to all that shallow activity. That there is a deeper power, there is a deeper presence that is the great I am, <laughs> the I amness, the isness, the great what is. spiraling up. You know, Francis Crick claimed that uh, LSD helped him to have a vision of the great spiral of life. <laughs> Here we are. We're at the Traveler's Inn. I've got to carry up this water, so I'll see you in a bit.